Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, wherever the hell you are, whatever time it may be, whatever day of the week it may be. Elton here, aka Retro Old School. Uh, where am I here? I'm in Montreal East. I think I'm in Anjou. I don't know. It could be Montreal North. And we're on the corner of... Lefrené and La Marche. Yeah, an industrial sector. You know me, I like these old industrial sectors. The older, the better. Lots of garages, body shops, and all, all, the, all that other hullabaloo. Good looking Toyota over here. I like that. Is it a Toyota or is it a Mazda? Anyway, anyway that one goes out to you, Mr. Braga. My friend in uh, foul mouth. Every time I hear that, I think it sounds like foul mouth, just like me. See? Foul mouth, get it? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, like the song goes, I gotta be me, what else can I be? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lady next to me probably waiting for a car to get fixed or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to move it along here. I've seen a couple of oldies out here. You'll see in a little bit. And, uh... Should have filmed that more as a 350Z. Beautiful automobile with power. Yeah, and uh, there's a nice looking little Acura there. What is it? RX? I never remember the name of it. Jesus Christ, is there a lot of construction in this city? It's not gotten better. It's gotten fucking worse. I was on the bus one block from here, parallel to here, on uh, Langelier, on bus number 22 222. I think it's the first time I ever rode on that bus. Good looking Kenworth there. Nice looking international back there. And anyway, so, uh, and then we hit construction, you know? And look, then they got construction here. There's construction everywhere in the city, except for the West Island. Why? Because the West Island is not as goddamn old as the rest of the city. So it, it, it's just, it's nice. You know, I was there on Sunday. I don't think I saw any construction signs anywhere. Seriously. Out here, whole different fucking ball game. It's just, it's horrendous is what it is. And again, you know, um, the previous mayors, they're the ones who dropped the ball, like fucking Tremblay, that quack, and Kader, that asshole, and whoever the fuck else. They dropped the ball. They didn't do anything to, to do more construction. They didn't know because construction and repairs on the, the infrastructure of the city, like, for example, the water pipes, that's not important. It's not interesting. You know what I mean? Hear a big plane coming in. Where is he? I hear him. There he is. Right in the... Is he in the flight path? Looks like he's going north. Probably Air Canada. Yeah, Air Canada Rouge. Uh, I don't know. It's too far away. 767, whatever. Man, look at all that cardboard. I could probably use most of that for my uh, shipping. Sales have uh, sort of picked up there on eBay, thank God, because uh, I'm fucking depressed about not being paid by my... Uh, Whoa, look at that. Pontiac G8. Based on an Australian Holden with a V8. That, I believe, is the Pontiac equivalent to a BMW 535, 635. Anyway, so yeah, I have yet to get paid. Now it's two fucking months. My stupid YouTube partner is behind on paying me. And then like a lot of millennials who whatever fucking live at home and shit, I got fucking bills to pay. I, I spent Sunday pay. with my cousin, because today is Tuesday. I spent uh, Sunday with my cousin, and we walked all over the fucking place, and I got a wicked sunburn, by the way. Now, what, here's another reason why I found it was a good idea to do a walk on this street that I've already forgotten the name of. Was this because of this beautiful bohemian right here. The Buick Roadmaster, circa 1991 to 1996, I think they made these till. And I thought about doing a separate video of it for with whatever else I do, but what can I tell you, you know? Just right, buddy. Don't look at me. Fucking Hino. Hino passed the Buick, you know? But it's not clean enough condition, but I will find one another one one day that's in cleaner condition than this And when I mean clean, I mean really clean not like I don't mean in the term like rusty or anything like the fuck? Where the fuck are they? Where are these people coming from? They look like they just walked out of the Plateau Montreal district hipster land They're all blown with their little dog Not even a fucking it, anyway, whatever Whatever Ugh. Ah, I love step vans I don't like UPS, but I like their trucks. Why? Because I'm a traditionalist. And unlike most people, I like brown. I like the color. You know? Not all the shades of brown, but... And there's another reason why I wanted to film here. 
There's that Hummer H1. Look at that fucking bohemian. That to me is the coolest Hummer ever made. The first one, the big one, the one that doesn't look like a toy, like the H2. I don't like the H2 model. It doesn't, uh, doesn't do it for me, you know? Let's go get a closer look at that thing. Let's get a little bit of a look-see. Here on uh, oh yeah, that's what I thought we were at. We're at uh, La Frenet. It's just funny because it reminds of the last name of a customer I had on eBay. He used to be my best customer, and uh, damn wind! They love this thing. Check that out, man! What a trip! You rarely ever see these. The H2, you'll see them every day practically. Not this model. This. It's probably what helped the one win fucking desert storm and wars like that in Afghanistan and all that shit, you know? Very cool fucking rig. Look how wide this thing is. Check this out. Look at that. Let me show me here. Look. Look how wide this thing is. It's amazing. I love it. Anyway. And then I did some research and I found that actually they made these between 86, 88 or something like that until 90... Or 2000, I think. Something like that. 2002. Yeah. Oh, it's a car wash. Anyway. So we're going to do one more block and uh, another block around, another walk around the block. A lot of instability today. Man, that's a nice looking Maxima. These cars are underrated. You know what? The generation before that, I guess some people would probably say those were like the last best Maximas made, the most popular, not this one. But I like this model. 2004. Hell, I think I even have a brochure for one, even, come to think of it. You know? You know? Do you know? Do you know what I mean? You know, like that song, Do You Know What I Mean? Do you know what I mean? Been three long days. Anyway, something like that. Lee Michaels is his name. Yeah. Yappers. Oh, look at this. What's going on here? Mm hmm I just saw that truck, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, now I know I'm in Montreal North. Hey, look at that. There's a building. It's called Couverture Montreal Nord. Montreal North Roofing. Yeah, man. And I got a feeling this company might have an old truck or two there. But I mean older than old. And when I mean older than old, I mean like older than 15 years, you know? Like 20. You know, it's funny, I never mentioned this before probably, but you know what are the things I love about what I do? You know what it is? It's like Google Street View, right? People going around and fucking filming with the camera going around and filming everything up and down the streets. Except with me, it's filled with commentary or narration, if you will, you know? About cars, about trucks, about people, about building designs, about life, about even politics and all this fucking shit. And that's probably the next Montreal truck, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised because they used to have these trucks. Good old Chevrolet when it was still great. Back in the 90s and earlier. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it smells like fire here, though. Man, that's a really big company. All these cars belong to them. All these trucks. Oh, cool. Right now, well, they're going to get a free plug now. You see that? Free advertising. I don't really believe in it, but... Uh, you know, especially big fucking huge companies like Tim Warren's. I mean, whatever, fucking Tim Warren's. They don't need any advertising. Lately, you hear them advertising on the fucking radio. And why is that? Because I heard, uh, what is it, a few months ago that they, they actually don't have as much... Uh, they actually lost a little bit of business, apparently. It seems uh, over the last uh, year or two, it lost uh, some business. Some uh, profits, I mean. Well, same thing. You know. Ford 500. Definitely an unusual car. You can see that car, especially in the future, people looking at that going, what the fuck is that, a Maxima? An Altima? Sounds like a fart. That's not a young, uh, not a young GMC there. Even though it's not a GMC, really. Oh my god, where the fuck am I going to end this now? I don't want to walk all the way over there. Oh shit. Lord Walla. I don't know what that is. Look at this, it says Remise à Neuf Claude Boileau. Service de nettoyage. Oh, okay, it's an after uh, disaster uh, cleanup company. After fire cleanup company. Hey, that reminds me, I found a fire extinguisher yesterday. 
fucking things from 1976 for crying out loud. It's all metal. It weighs a, a lot. And uh, I never tried it because, you know, I'm, I, <laughs> I have an apartment. Uh, but I got a feeling it probably still works because it's a uh, dry uh, chemical extinguisher. And, uh... Ooh, big plate. And, uh, yeah, and it, not only that, um... Uh, it still says that it, the needle is on the gauge is still between charge and discharge, so it's, it looks fine to me. Looks good. Looks very good. And all of a sudden the cars around here have gotten pretty dull and boring. All the more reason to stop, I think. Yeah. Seems to me you don't want to talk about it. Seems to me. Colorless fucking cars. Excuse me. Let me reiterate once again, like I do in almost every video of these walks I make. Colorless fucking cars everywhere. Gray and gray and silver and more silver and black and more black and more black and plus the door, plus the door. Sacrament call is about out of neck. Whoa, snap. Look at this. Buick Electra? Buick La Sabre? 84, 85. Holy fuck. Look at this sweetheart sitting here, and it's a coupe on top of that. There's another old car in the back. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, I want it. I want it. It's a fucking LeSabre, man. 8485 LeSabre coupe, man. Not a common car. Actually, it was never a very common car, actually, around here. Let me think of it. Kind of ironic to see that car, especially with that Buick Roadmaster that you both just... Well, you both. You guys just saw there. You fucking hundreds of you thousands whatever well there you go me was gonna stop filming how do you like that shiz i'm gonna stop filming right over here i like that roof very 70s probably i'm gonna stop right here i'm gonna go back one block to radisson uh radisson <laughs> Langelier. get back on the 33 and go to the fucking cn line like i was thinking about going and uh, uh as we say in french as i always say say so okay so it is what it is nice looking building where are these people coming from? Oh man, I smell hot dogs now. Oh, look at this. $5.99 is smoked meat. Mink. Hey, ça c'est vieux, ça. Si tu checks ça, tabarnak. Jari, smoked meat. Restaurant. That means we're on Jari Street right here. This is Jari Street. Can you dig it? Oh, la 